Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you for visiting. Today I am sharing my completed Matchstick Mouse Summer Book by Morgan O'Brien. I use many different colouring art supplies in the book, often as a first, trying the product or a new technique. I started the book in May 2022 and completed it in August 2024. Matchstick Mouse has kept my company through some good and some very difficult times, whether emotional or physical or mental. You may colour the pages as simply or as detailed as you like, and this is why I have enjoyed the book. I hope you enjoy my journey through this cute book. I shall be referring to some notes because two years is a long time to remember what I have been doing in this book. So, Bimble and Bumble will say thank you for watching and enjoy. <laughs> this is just how I ticked off each page that I did. So this book belongs to, we have the cute by my side, I didn't colour that one though. And here is a sneak preview of the very final page, it's actually page one, Matchstick Mouse Goes on a Hike. So that is August 2024. And it's my first time trying the Museum Aquarelle Watercolour Pencils. And they're by Karen Dash. And I went over with some Polly's Prismacolour Pencils. We have some acrylic pens for detailing. A little bit of Clearo Metallic for her clasp on the bag. And I put my own little flower on there, just a little detail. And the whole page was inspired by Riz076 over on Instagram. So thank you Riz for the inspiration. So just a little bit of shine. And I enjoy doing this page. Next we have page two. This was in August 2022, the flower meadow. And I was trying for the first time my artist's loft pencils and they were the very first pencil set I ever had. And they were loaned to me from Mr. B. There is also a video available of me colouring this page should you wish to go back and have a look. But I found them quite difficult to use on this paper because they're just cheap pencils. But summary colours, a simple little page. Page three is the cover page. And this was in July, 2022, where Matchstick Mouse has gone fishing with her friend Worm. And I used the Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2 crayons, Thule Art paint pens, some glitter paint on the dragonflies. So that would have been by Renaissance Colours, metallic watercolour paints. And the inspiration is the cover by Morgan O'Brien. And I had a lot of fun working out how to use the neos directly onto the paper and using the dry brush, the dry paintbrush technique. That was a lot of fun.
Page four is the artist where Matchstick Mouse is in the lovely field with the meadow flowers and she's got her friend Wham there and this was a buddy colour with Pixies Projects and it was actually the first page in this book that she helped me to start this this book and it was with Neo Colour Two Crayons direct to the paper and using the dry brush technique again. Looks like I've used some sort of glossy accent on there. I don't know if the shine is showing up. So it's trying to show the paint splatters which is hilarious. I love that. Very amusing. So it's like to show her paint is still wet and she's enjoying the lovely alpine view or mountains wherever she is in the world. Page five is the boat and she's with Cat Beetle and Worm and this was a buddy colour with Amy. And the challenge here was to use yellow. It's a simple alcohol marker base and it's got Prismacolor pencils on top, the Neocolor two crayons to create the water and I've used some glitter pens just for some shine and the white pen. I'm not sure if you can see the shine on the water. And this was in September 2023. Simple cute page. Page six was the river hike. And I've used Caran Dash New Colour 2 Crayons, the Faber Castell Albert Juras, Polychromos Pencils, Prismacolor Pencils, Glitter and White Gel Pen. I had fun with the reflections of the mountains and the trees. It's just a little bit of glitter. But the thing is with the Caran Dash set is that they have these rather bright colours, so I, I was a little bit um, bemused by how strong they came out. Possibly jarring with the rest, so I sort of matched it over. But I do like the purple-green combo, and that was in March 2023, if you want to go and have a look in my completed pages video. Page seven, Matchstick Mouse has finally reached the summit of her hike. Top of the mountain, this was September 2022 with Caran Dash Neo Colour 2 crayons, Prismacolor pencils, Brute Foon and Macaron pencils for the clouds, white gel pen, and for my own addition to make it unique, I had fun experimenting with the camouflage pattern on her backpack. So that was a lot of fun. And I enjoyed getting the depth with the purple mountain and with the opposing orange in the sky. That's a sweet fun page. This is a special page, page eight. June 2022 was my very first colouring video and it's available still for you to watch should you wish so. And this is a buddy colour with Feth Pim Art. It's really good that Feth reached out and decided to join in on this buddy colour. And so I used Neocolor 2 crayons and the Prismacolor pencils and I've used black and white pens just a little bit of shine on the eyes of the owl, the pen, 
possibly a glaze pen and some silver pen for the clouds. But this is dry technique mostly in the sky to get that soft appearance. But yeah, do go back and have a look at the video that I have if you wish to see how I did this. Page 9, Nighttime Lodge, October 2022. So I really wanted to try some moody nighttime colouring because I haven't really done that much. And I did it with the Neo Colour 2s and lots of Prismas. I was experimenting with different colour combos like the leaves, things like that. And there's a little bit of silver on there as well. Just experimenting with getting darker and deeper values for night time. A little bit of detailing there on the log. I was quite pleased with how that one turned out. Page 10, August 2022, the tree, the sunset. So there's a video available for this page. And I used Derwent Ink Tense pencils and I was activating them with a Tombow. And I've used the Macaron Brut Fruners for the clouds and a white pen to just outline. Just experimenting with a lot of new supplies to me at that time. Another fun page. Page 11. Actually, Mouse is having a little bath there, and that was September 2022. And I've used a lot of metallic paints. <laughs> this fun page, and I don't often use my Arteza pencils, I think it's the premium set, so it was a good chance to use those. And the metallic paints are by Renaissance Colours and she's on Etsy in the USA and the UK so you can pop along and see if there's anything there that interests you if you like your shiny paints. I've also used the Thule Art paint pens to cover up some of the black lines that's one of the first times I tried that and it worked quite well for the bubbles looks like I've used some iridescent medium on there as well just to give it a little bit of shine but these are the Christmas colours I believe very nice and the Arteza pencils they're not my most used pencil but they went okay down on this paper Page 12, the bonfire storytelling. Wham looks a little bit, ooh, spooked. They're all having fun. This was in August 2022 and there is a video available of me colouring this page. And I used my Castle Arts pencils. I think they are the original soft touch. I haven't got the gold ones. That's those, and there's a little bit of glitter on there as well. So probably Pentel glitter pens. A little bit of shine there. Another fun sweet page. Page 13, the camping trip. Matchstick Mouse settles down with Cat Beetle in for a night of comfort and storytelling and this was in February 2023 and I used alcohol markers by Huhu, Prismacolor pencils and a lot of silver glitter pen 
and I created my own camouflage pattern on the tent in muted grey greens. I just wanted to keep it a muted, simple, limited palette, but have it with that lovely pop of silver. There's a little bit of gold in here with her fireflies or whatever. That was a lot of fun creating the pattern on that one. And I actually like seeing the backs of pages. I prefer that. I, I prefer to see it. Page 14, March 2023. Snails in the rain. And I use graphite tint pencils, Albertura watercolour pencils, metallic watercolour paints. So it's by the Art Spirits, Caleros, Archie's paints. Some of these are available on Etsy and a lot of white gel pen. Shiny puddle. That was fun. There may even be some glitter pen on there as well by Pentel for the snails. And the trick here, if you want distance in your pages, bring your raindrops in front of your main character like this. Don't know if you can see that. So you put splashes on the leaves. Some of them are already drawn in, but I went in and drew all these extra ones. So it just gives you that depth. I had fun with the background. That was the graphy tint. Put in the purples and the blues. Get with the greys. Really nice. Muted set. Page 15. Lemons. This was September 2022. And I used Neocolor 2 crayons. So direct to the paper and then using a dry brush or minimal water and a lot of metallic holographic paints and these were by Archie's and Renaissance paints. I'll put links in the description. I don't know if you can pick that up but the holographic ones have little bits of glitter in this. So not just shine, but glitter as well. Very pretty paints. Lovely fresh page. Very summery. Page 16, March 2024. The Nuts and Fruits Store. This page was inspired by Cousin with Alina. And I just switched up a couple of things, like the background I made myself. I put in my own shadows and things like that. And it was all Prismacolor pencils with just a little bit of white gel pen. I had fun with that one. So yeah, and that's a bit of metallic, uniball metallic pen as well. So check out Alina's if you want to do that page. I think there's a colour along still available for you. This one, page 17, September 2022, planting the seeds. First time trying Bambino crayons in here. Oh, they were okay. It's a... It's a interesting product. I don't really reach for them that often, um, but you can blend them. So I used the Bambino crayons with metallic pens just to give it that little lift. So that's a metallic pen for the seeds. Yeah, sweet page. Page 
page 18, May 2023. Watering the seeds was with Uhuhu's, and that's the alcohol markers, and Prisma pencils. Just simple, straightforward. You can see used alcohol marker right close to and a little bit of white just to cover up some of the cloud black lines this one's all about trying to get your values the contrast in the ground page 19 September 2022, the flower field. So this one I've used pan pastels for the sky and I've covered it up with some iridescent medium that's by Winsor & Newton and the rest of the page I've used Astra Pastello pencils. Do you remember when they were all a rage? And then Prismacolor pencils Glitter pen details on the hat were all mine. So I've just given her some flowers on the hat. And you can see the shine from the iridescent medium in the sky. That's just to seal the pan pastel. And this was a Coloropoly page that I had where I had to use an unused art supply. So the unused art supply were the pan pastels. And the Coloropoly was by Colouring Down Under. Page 20. Shell combing. August 2022. This was a really fun page. One of the first times I was using my Brute Fu and the Macaron pencils. So the, the macarons are the pastel tones and I also use Castle Arts pastel tints so it's all pastels. I used some white pen it's saying but I can't uh, just on the eye I should have done it on the clouds really didn't think to or on the water just left it as it is and I probably used some prismas for the mouse because there aren't a lot of browns in these pastel sets, but I love doing this page. And this was inspired by Morgan O'Brien's own artwork. And I think he had a, a notebook out with this one on the cover. And I think that's probably where I got inspiration from. It's always a good idea to check out Instagram or other places for inspiration for your colours and your colour palette. Page 21, more shell collecting. So this was in October 2023, more Brute Funa macarons with white and glitter pens. And this was a buddy colour with Cindy. And it was for Cathy's, as in spicy cat colours, buddy ween. So buddy ween is you buddy up with someone completely new to you and you just do your buddy colour together. So that was nice. A little bit of glitter on that one. And the mouse would have had Prismacolor again, pencils, just to deepen the fur. Page 2022 is the ice cream. This has been a very popular page, hasn't it? 2022, July. And it was the first time trying light fast pencils, Beatrix popped pencils and the Chromaflow pencils. I also used some stickles and there is a video available of me colouring this page. So I don't have whole sets of pencils, I just used 
12. So 12 of the light fast. There are only 24 available colours in the Chromaflow. Peter Rabbit, Petrix Potter, only 15 colours from this set and that was from Amazon Japan and they are in a video of their own, those ones, if you're interested. Stickles on the water just to make that little bit of shine. Happy vibes at the seaside or estuary or lock. <laughs> Page twenty three. February 23. This was an interesting experiment and I was using the Arteza gouache for the first time. In I was trying the impressionistic style just for fun. So these were the 24 colours I had. So I struggled because I didn't have very many colours actually. So they look like that. And I also altered the page. So I was just having a fun time running down to the river. Lots of texture, details. I enjoyed doing the sky. I found it quite difficult doing the sandy area, didn't quite have the right colours. But yeah, first time having a play, that's what it's about really, isn't it? Found it difficult getting the fur on the mouse. Very fine brushes needed. It's fun to alter the page. Page 24, The Seagull, November 2022. Neo colour 2 crayons for the sand, direct to paper, dry brush technique, Prismacolor pencils, metallic and glitter pens, white pen, mostly silver. Silver, gold and I think it's bronze, I don't think it's copper, I think it's bronze and there's a little bit of metallic paint, probably Arteza or the Art Spirits. <laughs> Very amusing page that one. Page 25, Chips. I just needed a very simple page to do. And I did this with my new acrylic paint marker. So the brush ones with two colours per pen. So they were brush markers. They don't go through. They were cheap in the sale. And I just needed something quick to do. They went down quite well. Not too streaky. Lots of layers. Another fun quick page, page 26 in March 2024. And Matchstick Mouse and Cat Beetle with Worm are in their Irish colours here. Coloured for St Patrick's Day, I believe. So we used alcohol markers, Neo Colour 2 crayons and I've done lots of little extra 
acrylic paint details, these flowers in the shrubbery. My simple sky. Cute page. And this is page 27. River rafting. And it was the first time using my dough and drawing pencils. And there is a video available for this. And I kind of struggled at first. And then I persevered, lots of layers required. And I was really pleased with how the water came out. I got the light there and then the, not so much the reflections, but the depth of the water, but very limited colors in that pencil set. But I think it really stands out. I'm, I'm coming around to it. I may have had to use some prismas on the mouse as just a few extra colours. Yeah. That was surprising, that one. So yeah, there is a video of me colouring this page, should you wish to have a look. Page 28, The Swing. February 2023. Neo colour two crayons. I was getting quite proficient at doing my sunsets and having a lot of fun with it. And the Prisma colours just to inject a little bit of drama in the water there. And colours on the rocks. I, I am enjoying getting all the different mossy colours in there. And just some white gel pen. She's having a lot of fun there. Tiny bit of texture in the grass. Page 29. Testing the water. March 2024. I needed another quick page. And again, I got inspiration from colouring with Alina, so you can head on over to her video for that. I changed up a few things, but it's just Prismacolor pencils and the white pen. I think I put in my own reflections, I can't remember. I may have changed a few colours. That's that one. I like to do my mouse in my style, so it's possibly that my mouse is my own. Page 30, September 2022. Jump. This is another fun page with crazy Neo Colour 2 crayons for the sky and the tree and some white pen and I like the swampy pond water colours and that's with prisma colours don't know what the purple was it's either the neos or the prismas but yeah I, I like that I like that one a lot it's a lot of fun that page Page 31, cosy home in the rain, April 2023, limited palette in blues and greens. I use Neo Colour 2 crayons there, dry techniques, direct to, direct to the paper again, dry brush, polys, Prismacolor pencils, and I've done glitter for the rain and the curtain details and the spider. And here I've got a little blue heart in glitter pen. And that's for Autism Awareness Month. 
So I was really pleased with that. But I struggle to get things really dark. Sometimes I want it to go even darker. And I like to leave the texture in the fur. I like to leave light areas. I like that one. Just because it's so different. And this is page 32. April 2024. Dance in the rain. And we've used the Stedler tinted watercolour pencils. Graphy tint pencils, glitter pens, white pens, and a lot of different metallic watercolour for the puddles. And again, I've used the technique of bringing the rain in front of the main subject just to give that distant feel, depth in the page. Now it's nice to use some of these muted tones in these other pencil sets. So yes, prisoners for the mouse again. But I've tried to do it more muted, a lot more greys. So it's probably the art spirits and may even be some Arteza metallic paint there. Page 33, November 2022, Gathering with Friends. This was a fun page and it was a buddy colour. With Emma Colours. Let's hope it's recorded everything. I just did a very long video. My camera was complaining how long my file was. So let's try again, shall we? Page 33, November 2022, Gathering with Friends. This was a very fun page and it was a body colour with Emma Colours. There is a video available on my channel if you want to see me colouring this page. And I've used Brute Fruna Square pencils, metallic paints, glitter pens, and some white gel pen, Prismacolor pencil for the mouse. But this, are, this is by Archie's Paints. And there's just some glitter pen on there. And it was just a fun page. It took a long time though with the Brute Fruna Squares. It's not my most used pencil. So it was fun to use it. We're nearly there though, nearly there. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me for this long. Uh, page 34, September 2022, Broom Flight. Prismacolor pencils, polychromos pencils. We have the Scorpion set of pencils in the clouds. And on top, I've done some iridescent medium. And we have some CSY metallic pen, handmade, it says honey watercolour, CSY art gallery, these cute little tin boxes, absolutely adorable, get them on Amazon, so that's what we've used. I find them a little bit sticky. I find the uh, lay down is quite difficult. You see here, it really churns up. They're quite thirsty. Anyway, it's not a review about these paints, but I've used some here on the broom. So we have lots of shine. Stick mouse, nearly there. And finally, page 35, December 2022, relaxing in a chair, the end of the day, Neo Colour Truths with a minimal palette. I think I only used about five crayons. 
Prismacolor pencils and the white pen. Simple, nice page. And that's Matchstick Mouse. These are all my notes. <sighs> I pan out for that. These are just some of my notes. It was just a tally to see how I was doing in the book and what pencils I've used, what mediums, and I've got through quite a few. I didn't get round to using water-based pens in here, but everything else I pretty much tried in the book and I had a lot of fun doing it. So if you've stuck with me through to the end, thank you very much. And Bimble and Bumble are very grateful. So if you like this, give the little video a thumbs up and thank you for watching and happy colouring.